right, that was a, a bit disappointing, wasn't it? I mean, if I'm really honest, the referee really did ruin the game for us. And credit to West Brom, they were a solid side and their goalkeeper outstanding. Jesus, that second half? I can't, I don't know how many saves, but at least 10, surely. He was unstoppable. Yeah, I get to the game and it's, you know, it's looking a bit shaky all the time. It ain't a single room to breathe for us. I mean, their pressing was insane. West Brom, they are very good. It's, it's, I can't really take anything away from their performance. Their performance is absolutely fantastic. Um, coming back for the game after sacking their manager and just want, you know, wanting to kind of get their second wing of the season, they've done it and they did it in style. we got to do way better for the first goal. Matt Phillips gets in. Um, Guinness Walker just shows that he's kind of up his depth when it comes to defending in the Championship and really just uh, just fluffs it trying to defend him and he just, you know, cuts inside and... Um, does a little ball roll, ball roll, I think. And it goes to the back of the net with um, a lot of power behind. Oh, it was really actually unfortunate before the before the actual game kick off is that knowing that Paulins was going to be on the touchline, I really felt anxious. As soon as I knew that, I felt completely down about the game. I was like, no way. I mean, before, I already thought West Brom would probably win because, you know, with a, a team that's got something to prove, usually they uh, do do that. Uh, but yeah, no, um, Paulins have been on the touchline. I just thought that would probably impact the side quite a lot. And uh, we had a, a goalkeeper switch today as well. I mean, Dumbley's out for a similar thing. I it's got a cold, a sore throat or something I read. Uh, but yeah, Bazana's starting goal and he, he looked alright. I mean his distribution's great, I'm not gonna lie, it's good. Um but didn't really get many opportunities apart from the two goals actually came his way to uh, show off what he could actually do. Um but in the end, um I just don't much you to go on for Bazana, he's just a good kicker at the ball, really. Yeah, as you can tell, I'm not really talking about Reading's chances at all in the first half. And literally nothing. Like we, I mean it's down to the referee, really. I mean, he stopped the game so much for us. His favorite card must be yellow because he just loved giving that yellow so early in the game. And I was just like, come on, mate, that's like only 20 minutes, 30 minutes. And he's like, oh, that's a yellow for your first try of the game that didn't even hit the player. Oh, I don't know what game he's watching. And even the linesman, I mean, credit, the linesman actually called up a foul, which Reppy did not do at all. Paid advantage and really like, oh, actually, my job is it. I should probably call that foul. And then does it in the end anyway. You know, he really was out of his depth, man. He, he had no clue what was going on. Speaking of bad decisions, I mean, <laughs> The second goal for West Brom, I mean, Hendrik when he falls down and everything, I've seen it live and everything, it's just, that's a blatant card for us, for pushing him over. I mean, this foul man that led to that goal, I literally can't be asked, man. Like, Hendrik has the ball, he's trying to, you know, pass off and that, but he's been held back by Wallace, and Wallace manages to push him over, he's on the ground, and it's just like, what, ref, how is that not a foul? And he doesn't do anything, Wallace is thrown goal, shoots, scores, good finish, but my guy, he shouldn't be able to do that because the referee should be blowing his whistle. I don't understand. There's so many times this match referees just got it all wrong and I just, I don't know what to think. Man. Like any time there was a there was a challenge on us, uh, he decided, no, the other way. It's going to be West Brom's foul, not yours. And I was like, what do you mean? Like, <laughs> it's just very confusing. Oh yeah, not to mention we had a big penalty shot that happened in the box. Like, what happened? It was a Guinness Walker dribbling in, beat def beating defenders, and suddenly, oh, he's on the ground. How did that happen? Because the fucking tackle, they went wrong. It should be a foul. But yeah, I digress. I mean, referees in championship to shit anyway. One week you get a really good performance, you go, oh, okay, the ref was actually decent. Not not amazing, but it was decent. And then the other week it's like, oh my god, how is he even a referee? So yeah, um, enough tangents about referees and what their decisions are in the game. Um, we actually had a good good, good uh, final five minutes of the game. It was like the only time we actually had anything good to happen and to end. Uh, Tom Hintz was ready to strike it and, you know, the amazing performance of West Brom's goalkeeper just pulled through it and got us for us. Um, speaking of amazing, amazing performances, uh, I do need to give a man a match, don't I? It's a tough one. I mean, I was thinking of it between three players, really, to be honest. I was thinking Loom did it right. He, he's very precarious and he's, if that's even the right word, I don't know, but he, he's very much reckless. He'd go for a tackle and it's always a foul, pretty much. Um, and also, Mr. Guinness Walker did very well. I felt like he did quite poor for most of the game, but then for the latter stages of the game, he um, ended up putting out some good tricks here and there and uh, getting through to put a cross in or even just lit off the ball for a striker to go through. Managed to get upfield pretty, pretty good um, and tacking wise and you know, managed to get a few crosses in. I mean, <laughs> few of them were pretty shit, but um, even so, uh, it managed to do so. Um, but my man match is going to be for Tom Holmes. I feel like even though we did see two goals, he really did manage the game pretty well. And um, when we needed him, he was there. He's there to block the ball, he was there to come back, he won his headers. Um, yeah, we just saw a performance from him and out of the, I guess, bad bunch, don't really want to be that harsh on him, but I guess out of the bad bunch, uh, it would be Tom Holmes. Tom Holmes wins it for me. Yeah, to wrap up, yeah, the referee made us lose. <laughs> West Brom, credit to you, congratulations, you won the game. Um, but yeah, we're still six, there's uh, not much of a difference in the table. I just hope that, you know, next next game against Swansea is going to be, I don't know, either a draw or a win, really. Hope not to lose, but we'll see what happens. Anyway, this has been my opinion. I'll see you guys next time.